Now I'm going to get my halibut and my tuna ready for whatever it is I'm going to do with it. On the halibut, I'm going to first dunk it in the egg wash. I'm going to season that also. I'm going to put some of the high mountain gourmet fish seasoning in here. So let me just give that a little extra dunk. And then I'm going to coat this in Japanese breadcrumbs. This is going to be very, very simple. Capers, white wine, lemon, pretty classic preparation. For my tuna, I have Dijon mustard. You can use either lemon or lime juice. This happens to be a Meyer lemon, and I've got some sesame oil. And this is toasted sesame oil in the Asian section of your market. And to add a little bit of salt and flavor to it, I have the High Mountain Gourmet Fish Seasoning. And I just want to give that a stir. So I'm going to coat the tuna with this sesame mustard mixture. And then after it's all coated, I'm going to press it into sesame seeds. So it's going to be a sesame crusted ahi tuna. And the sauce is going to be a cucumber jalapeno ginger relish. On top of the halibut, it's going to be an avocado lime sauce. Sound pretty good? Welcome back to The Sporting Chef. I'm Scott Laysath. I've got halibut and tuna. Over here, I've got some melted butter and olive oil. It's about a 50-50 combo. The butter will give it flavor. The olive oil will keep it from burning. Um, this is my panko-crusted egg-washed halibut. That's going to go into the pan. You want to make sure that that oil and butter is hot before you put it in there. You want it to be crisp on the outside. I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of the High Mountain Gourmet Fish seasoning on the outside. I'm going to hold off on the tuna because, frankly, I like my yellowfin, my ahi tuna, raw. That's going to go in in a minute. I'll give this a flip eventually. I've got my sauces over here. This is the California halibut. It's ready. It's crusty. I gave it a flip. I'm heating this pan up for the tuna. But I want to show you what I'm going to put on it. I've got, in this one, this is what's going to go on top of the tuna. Cucumber, jalapeno. This is some chopped up pickled ginger. I'm going to put a little bit of low sodium soy sauce in there. And some agave nectar. Agave nectar is sweet. You could just use sugar if you don't have any. I'm going to turn this guy off so I don't burn my halibut. And then this is just rice vinegar. Rice vinegar is sour. My standby, the gourmet fish seasoning. And then I'm just going to give this a little stir. Over here, this is avocado. All this is is a soft, ripe avocado that's been mashed up. I'm going to add some lime juice. I'm just going to get that all mixed to up. plate up. What I did with this halibut here, I'm just going to put a big squeeze of lemon. On the tuna, cast iron skillet, olive oil, medium heat, and all I did was turn it on all sides so that the outside got crusty with that sesame seed. It stuck to it and it's not going to be overcooked and I'll show you that just to prove it. On top, this is cucumber, jalapeno, a little low sodium soy sauce and some more of that pickled ginger. We'll put that right on top of the tuna, on top of the halibut. There's that avocado lime puree, just mashed up avocado and lime. Let me show you what this looks like inside. Oh, oh, yes. That right there is a thing of beauty. And there's some people on the other side of the camera that are saying, I got it. No, that's mine.